Hey everybody, how you doing? Today is a kind of a fun and a different video. Today we're talking about Percy Thrill's Thrillington, which was a very unusual instrumental album, which came out in 1977 in May in America. But we didn't know who this was for the longest time until it was uh, later on found out that it was Paul McCartney. But today we're going to dive into some of the uh, unusual and some kind of neat collectibles of this. So stay tuned and come watch this. You're going to enjoy this video about Percy Thrillington. So basically what this video is to have you think outside the box. Instead of thinking of just Paul McCartney as uh, doing greatest hits or something like that, this is a little bit different video than most other videos you've seen. Um, but showing first up is my 1995 CD copy of Thrillington. And it's a very nice, enjoyable CD. I really like it. Uh, doesn't, re doesn't really matter what you find on this it's always very hard to find anything on this Thrillington. So, but let me show you a few things of this CD. Here's your song listings. And as you can kind of see, this is basically Ram in an instrumental form. But for years, I really had no idea that Percy Thrillington was Paul McCartney. And I don't think anybody really knew unless you got some kind of inside story right off the bat of who this was. But Paul pretty much kept this a secret. But even in the CD, you'll see that Percy Thrillington just mentions Percy Thrillington. Doesn't really say Paul McCartney. And here's the inside piece of paper. I'll let you read that on your own. So go ahead and pause if you want to catch that and read that on your own, all right? And here's a little bit of the booklet inside. Like I said, it still doesn't even mention... Uh, letting you know who this is, but it's kind of a giveaway in the corner there when it has the MPL uh, logo, that's for sure. So this is kind of neat, just little different articles in here on Percy and all sorts of little clippings. But yeah, pretty cool. I like this. Yeah, kind of fun reading. And here's the CD. Then this book was put out in 2001. And it was per, made by uh, Ray Zirkel. Apologize if I get your last name wrong. But this is kind of neat. This has something really cool about Thrillington as well. Next to the Paul McCartney Mulligan Tire uh, flat stand-up is a very rare promotional stand-up cardboard for Thrillington. And here it is here. This is the actual cardboard promotional stand-up store display for Thrillington. Just thought I'd show you for fun. There's nothing on the back. It's just a white. So, from Germany in 2018, Paul McCartney released this fantastic album on vinyl which is really neat to get this one on vinyl, but this was a limited edition with a number inside of it, and it's on red vinyl. Very cool. And I don't know what my number is for this one because this one is still sealed. And there's the back of it. And here's another copy of the colored vinyl of Thrillington, still in the original shrink wrap as well. And here's the back of it, just like the other one. And here's the inner sleeve, which is just a black inner sleeve. And it's like that on both sides. It says Thrill Thrillington on both sides of it. And there's your record label, but as we pan out, you can see it's on a red marble. Just a fantastically beautiful red marble. Really, really happy to get that. Pretty darn neat, that's for sure. Really glad to get this one. Yeah, and Beetle Brad absolutely loves colored vinyl, and this is it. Nice. And here's my download card. I apologize if it's a little blurry, but I'm zoomed in all the way. So at least you got an idea. There's the card itself. 
Okay, and just for fun, there's Buddy. He's watching the video, too. Aren't you, Buddy? Yeah, he's real thrilled. And this is my 1977 copy of Thrilling 10 from America. Very nice. It's in great condition. Very cool album, that's for sure. And here's the back of it. The American album of this in purple is actually quite rare and quite collectible. And mine is just in stone mint condition. And there's a side too, you know. <laughs> there you go. Also, to let you know, Hypnosis was the ones who did the album artwork. And they also designed covers for Pink Floyd and Led Zeppelin and also Wings. In 1989, Paul McCartney disclosed that he was Thrillington himself, but for many years it was a big mystery on who this was. So I hope you enjoyed my video on this Thrillington album of Paul McCartney's album, which is a little sultry, a little jazzy, and a lot of great instrumental fun. So if you get a chance, kind of dive into this and kind of... Uh, Find out some more for it for yourself. I think you would enjoy it. So, comment down below. Let me know. Do you know about this album? Have you ever heard about this album? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you, definitely. And I do appreciate you, each and every one of you being here. And as I say on my channel, I'm out of here. Take care, everybody. And I will see you on the next video. Take care.